what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i woke up to this message from the official jeepers creepers reborn page and messages from several of you guys telling me that there would be an update today and that's exactly what we got i thought it was an april fool's joke because it always could have been an april fool's joke but they didn't give us anything april fool's worthy it was an actual legit thing that they dropped involving the new director and i'm sure i've shared images with shared images of this with some of you guys telling you it was coming it was just a brief little interview that they had with timo talking about him talking about his work on the film and how it came across his table and he was excited how he's been a fan of this and how he knows he's going into a already established well-known ip that has a fan base they actually also have launched an official jeepers creepers reborn youtube page where i guess they will be dropping updates more often in the future so go ahead and subscribe to the official jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers 4 youtube channel to stay up to date on everything they didn't really go into anything really ground or mind-blowing in this interview that they had with timo he again was just talking about how he's been a fan of of the of the originals and he just goes into how he knows that he's walking into an already established ip there's a lot to uh basically live up to so he knows and he understands that this is something that is hopefully making him take it a bit more serious compared to his other work so we'll see how he does with it he does he doesn't disclose anything too too important about what what direction they're taking we do see glimpses of what we could expect in the film there's a shot at the end of what looks like i guess the creeper busting through a door at the horror hound festival we would assume there's another shot of a van of sorts arriving at a certain place and we, we don't see too much of the film just little glimpses of it. we see them filming it outside of uh, having having what looks like i guess of course a lot of fun while making a jeepers creepers movie as it should be so the other thing i wanted to talk about was this this image that's been going around uh online this has been debunked as not being the real creeper in the film not only is it not the real creeper apparently according to someone who worked on the film this is an image that got sent to me from someone who reached out to one of the uh, makeup artists on the film i'm not going to disclose this person's name for privacy reasons and just not to cause any trouble there but they have stated this this is not the actual creeper this is again what we have speculated it looks like cosplay because if this was the genuine creeper i sh i'm pretty sure myself and all of you guys all of the excitement we had for this project would have been thrown out the window uh this is not the creeper <laughs> this is just i guess someone in cosplay uh it's been debunked and we'll see how true that is because they're saying this is not the creeper so we'll see how true that is it's, they're saying that's not him that looks absolutely uh completely not terrifying at all uh looks nothing like what we've come to see and even jeepers creepers 3 while there was clear evidence tweaks to the makeup given how much time it passed it didn't look like that not at all it, it was very reminiscent of the first two films it wasn't a complete uh exact copy but it looked nothing like that image we just saw that that looks nothing like the creeper uh it looks very it just looks like a cosplay and, and actually someone pointed out you can see where the mask ends at, ends at the person's neck so if that if that's not the creeper i'm glad i'm glad to know that that's not the actual creeper that's not what we'll expect to see in the film still no word yet on if jonathan brick is officially back or not there's rumblings of his participation uh participation or lack thereof both are actually what's been just jumping back and forth we won't know anything official about anyone really until they announce this cast which i guess they're going to announce on this youtube channel so again subscribe to that channel because there's a lot of things that we could get updated on from that youtube page so again that's not the creeper from what someone who worked on the film is claiming and we should all just take a deep breath and relax knowing that that is not the creeper because if it was that would be just not it would just take all of my excitement away that it looks so non-terrifying and it looks nothing like the creeper and when i say nothing of course it of course for us to assume that that's what the creeper looks like it has sh shades of what we know the creeper looks like but that looks awful if, if that was the real creeper it's just it's not him and i'm glad it's not him the other thing 
we need to talk about is a priest because apparently there's going to be an evil priest in this new film uh there's going to be a new type of not necessarily evil priest we'll see how how true this is but someone shared something Severio Severo Buono shared in a group on Facebook she just shared and announced his participation in the upcoming Jeepers Creepers Are Born he's actually the one who shared that image of what we all were speculating might have been the creeper in the film that has now been apparently debunked from one of the crew members who worked in the makeup department um, and he's going to be playing this character in the film that has some type of priest role uh we'll see how he factors into what happens at the horror hound festival we've seen him in images if you've seen the behind the scenes images you've seen this guy he's at the horror hound festival in like a white suit uh so he he's a character we'll get to see in the film or an actor now another actor who's going to be in the film uh several other cast members not not any notable names just looks like they're going to be extras commented on the post i'm not really going into detail about who those people were but yep this is pretty much the update i have regarding jeepers creepers were born until they start talking about other things about the project all i can do is just put out videos sharing my thoughts and opinions on what i think could happen uh where i think they could take it also timo did touch briefly on the fact that what's inspiring the film to be titled reborn since this is supposed to be their relaunch of the franchise it's basically what he was trying to get across in what he was saying he didn't share too many details again about what we should expect other than they know they have an already established ip he's a fan of the franchise especially the first film and they are going to do what they can i guess to give us the best entry that they can muster out with what they had to work with Hopefully a lot better than Jeepers Creepers 3 because again, I'm I'm just telling everybody don't go into this expecting Jeepers Creepers 1. Don't go into that expecting that. We haven't gotten anything like Jeepers Creepers, the original, since the original. Jeepers Creepers 2, step in the wrong direction. Jeepers Creepers 3, completely off the rails. So we'll see if Jeepers Creepers Reborn, Jeepers Creepers 4 can get back on track somewhat and at least be decent. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Are you excited? Go check out that video and subscribe to them. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and then miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Um, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you, of course, in the next video.